In today's Photoshop lesson, I want to talk a little bit about actions. If you are not familiar with actions, an action is a series of steps that you group together as a single command to accomplish a task automatically and very quickly. So, it's a time saver. In this lesson, I'll show you how they work and how you can make your own action. Photoshop comes with some built-in actions, so let's look at them first and then we'll make some of our own. So first of all, we got our history, our layers, toolbox, but now we have to bring up the actions panel. So we go to window and then should be right on the top. There it is, actions. So there is the action. Let me put it right in the middle. Okay. Now it comes with some default actions and as you can see I have my own actions called Mike's actions. Now, Photoshop also comes with more actions, and you get those by going to this little window right here. You click on that, and then you can see it brings up this menu, and down here we have the actions that you can load. Command, frames, image effects, lab, production, as you can see. Let's load up some frames to start with. Okay, we'll just click on frames. Okay, now we can see that we have another set of action called frames. There they are there. And just for fun, let's try one on this photo. So let's try, what do you say? We try spatter, stroke, waves, ripple. How about a wood frame? 50 pixels. No? Let's give it a try and see what it happens. So what we do, all we have to do to run an action is click on the action. You can see it's highlighted. And then what we're going to do is click on this play button right here. If you hover long enough, it tells you what these buttons are. It says play selection. So that's what we want to do. So I'll click on the play button. Now it comes up with a message. This tells us image size must be a minimum of 100 pixels wide and tall. Well this image is bigger than that so that's not going to be a problem. So let's click on continue. Okay now we don't do anything and Photoshop goes through all the work and it's running these steps that it takes to make the action. And now let me hit the tab key and see what we got. That takes away the menus, the palettes, and there is the wood frame. Well we didn't do anything and there's the frame. Now let me hit the tab key back again and if we go to history you can see all these steps that it did. These are all steps I'm scrolling up. It all it did all these steps to make that frame and we did it instantly. So one more thing you should note is if you don't like the frame and it's not what you wanted you can always click on snapshot and that takes you back where you started from. So that action started with a snapshot. And that way you can always go back. So, and if you want to see the steps, see this little arrow right here? There's a little arrow. If I click on that arrow, you can see the, uh, let's see, what am I trying? Yeah, you can see all the steps in the action. So, fill, add noise, blah, 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 delete channel. Those are all the steps. Let me close that back up. Okay, just for fun, let's load one more. So we'll go up here, and this time we'll load, oh, let's see, let's pick image effects. Okay, what do we get under image effects? Age photo, blizzard, light rain, all those other ones. How about a sepia tone? Let's click on sepia tone. Okay, and we want to play it. So that should turn our photo into a sepia tone. Let's see what it does. We'll hit play. And it takes a couple seconds. And let me hit tab again. And there you go. There's the sepia tone. So that gives you some idea what an action can do and how fast it can do it. Okay. I have reset everything here. And now let's make our own action. Now every time I open a new photo, I do the same thing. I always copy the background layer and I call it fix up layer. So let's make an action that will do that for us. To make an action all we're going to do is go down here and 
click on this icon right here at which says create a new set. I click on that and up pops um, a new set dialog box. Let's just call it my actions. My A C T I O. My actions. That'll give us a name. We'll say OK. So now we have a new set called My Actions along with our defaults, Mike's Actions, Frames, and Image Effects. Now these are called, this one's called My Actions, and those, that's where we're going to put the actions we're going to make right now. Now to make a new action, no. All we have to do is click on this New Action button down here. It says Create New Action. Okay, and that starts the recorder. Now the first thing it asks for is what the name of it. Well, I'm going to name it Fix Up Layer. Fix Up Layer. Because that's what it's going to do. It's going to make me a new layer called Fix Up Layer. It's going to go in the set called My Action. Function key, yeah, let's give it a function key. Let's give it F12. We'll call it Control F12. From now on, to make this work, we'll just hit Control F12 color oh yeah why don't we give it a color let's give it blue that's a nice color and we'll say record now once we push the record button you don't have to panic you don't have to get in a big hurry everything's you can take all day to do this um, sometimes I get excited that, oh I'm recording I have to hurry but that's not necessary now let me move this layers palette over so you can see it a little better there's the background layer now what do I want to do I just want to copy that layer and name it fix up layer now one way to do that is to right click on that layer and click on duplicate layer now when I do that it comes up and asks me to give it a name which that's what I want to do I'm going to call it fix up fix up layer okay and destination photo one JPEG yeah we're okay here so I'll just click OK now if you look here it says fix up layer it's all done for us fix up layer that's all we wanted to do is make a fix up layer that we only did one step it's not a very long action but at least it's a start now once we've done that one thing we want to do we want to hit um, the stop button that's the square so we'll click on stop okay that actions done we actually have an action now if if we look in our my actions the first action is called fix up layer and the shortcut key is F12 so let's see if it actually works let's take the layer we made and put it in the garbage can since we don't need that right now we want to see if we can get it now I'm gonna hit there's two ways to play an action. You can click on it right here. That's the action. Or you can click on Control F12. So, I mean, I can click on it, hit Control F12, or hit the play button. Well, the first time, let's just hit the play button. And look over here. Sure enough, it made a new action for us. Okay. And let me put that in the garbage can. So if you're in, if you're in, if you want to do it with the keyboard, just hit Control F12, and there's our fix up layer. So now we have a new layer, and if we want to get rid of this crane or something, we can do that non-destructively because we always have our background layer. Let's make another action. This time, let's make a dodge and burn layer. That's something I use in every photo. Before I'm done, I usually lighten some areas and darken some other areas of a photo so let's get a different photo let me show you what this looks like it's a girl on the slide but I think this foreground is a little too light because of the flash so I'm gonna burn that in with a dodge and burn layer so let me show you how we do that hit the tab key again um, let's just move this layer over here for now and we'll move actions over here so we can kinda see what's going on to make the new dodge and burn layer action the first thing we're going to need to do is record the action, or at least start the recording. So I'm going to click over here on Actions, click on My Actions, okay, and then we're going to go down here just like we did before and click on this button right here, create a new action. Up comes the dialog box. The name of the action is going to be called um, D and B, Dodge and Burn. It's going to go in my actions. Should we give it a color? Or no, we'll give it a um, 
F2. We'll give it Shift Control F2. From now on, we'll start that action. And the color can be, what did we use, blue last time? Yes, it was green this time. And now, <clears throat> and now we'll click on Record. Okay. Now the action has started. Uh, well, the action hasn't started, but the recording of the action has started. So what we're going to do is make the new dodge and burn layer. Now, the way we're going to do that is go up to layer, new layer, right here, new layer. Up comes the name. We're going to call it D and B layer. So we got that. And then the color of the layer that'll show up on this screen. We'll give it a green. Okay. Mode. We want overlay mode. It's right here. And we want to fill it with a neutral gray color. Okay. Opacity. We want to be 20%. We don't want to start too hard. We can always build it up. So the opacity of this layer will be 20%. It'll show up green. Well, green's just going to be, you'll see in a minute what that is. And overlay mode. And we'll say OK. There, see the green over here. That's what where the green came in. You can change that if you don't like it. So we have our dodge and burn layer, and we're ready to go. It is a gray layer set to opacity of 20% with an overlaid mode. So I think we're good. That's just what we're looking for. Now we have to stop the action. We do that by clicking over here on the square, kind of like on a VCR or whatever. Okay, so that's done. And if you look over here, we now have D and B. D and B. And then there it, the whole thing is. So let's see if it works. What we're going to do is take the D and B layer that we made and put in the garbage can. Okay, let's just pretend like we just came up to this, this photo and we say, oh, it needs to be a little bit darker on the bottom. Let me move the actions out of the way. Oh, we need a dodge and burn layer. Now remember we could hit the play button. We click here. We could hit play or it was um, shift control F2 and look done. It's done instantly. It did. It typed in the name. It changed the opacity and the overlay. Let's see how it works. We need a brush. So I hit the letter B. There's a pretty good size brush. It needs to be black. See over here? Black is a foreground color. And what do you say? We just kind of paint this in. You can see I'm painting. This is at 20%. It's a big brush. Computer's running a little slow. But you can see it got a little darker. I'm giving another coat. Make it even darker yet. Okay. Now if we want the back to be lighter, I'm going to hit the letter X. That exchanged the color from black to white, and we could actually lighten the back a little bit if we wanted to, kind of make it more even. You can tell the flash kind of wiped this out. So I use the dodge and burn layer all the time, usually kind of at the end to get some final adjustments to make everything just look perfect. So let's just see what we've done. I'm going to turn the layer off and then back on. So you can see we definitely have affected it, and of course we could affect it more if we wanted to. Well, my time is up for today, but there's two last things I want to show you before I go. The first thing, we have to click on My Actions. We click on this to highlight it. And then we click right here on this little button. And then we want to go down to Save Action, right there. It'll come up with a place to save the action. There's a name for the action over in this area here. so. Type in a name, my action's fine, and then find a place to put it. I also recommend you put it on a thumb drive, so in case your hard drive crashes, you can always load the action. The second thing I want to show you is button mode. If we click up here again, we can click on that little icon. The very first choice is button mode. Now, that looks different. Now the actions all have a name. And to operate an action all you have to do is click on it so here's the fix up layer remember that's the first thing that we do or that I do when I start a new new photo I click on fix up layer and sure enough if we look over here there is 
the uh, fix up layer added on so I can work on that layer non destructively. I still got the background layer. And the last one we did was the DNB for dodge and burn. If I just click on the DNB over here, sure enough, there's a dodge and burn layer over here. So that's the way it goes with actions. I hope you picked up something today. Thanks for watching.